studio space in Culpeper, Virginia, and available throughout the world online, as well as at festivals and events. Magical Things offers custom creations too, such as costuming, illustrations, and more. Come visit us at MagicalFantasy.com. Well, that was some boring music. Spike! Come on, where's the Justin Bieber? Where's the Katy Perry? Where's the Fallout Boy? Noddle, you have witch powers. Turn him into a chipmunk and feed him to the owl outside. I will do no such thing. We're here to talk about our website. HomeCanineNeutering.com What? No! InvaderPet.com where people can check out our comic strips or locate bookstores selling bookmarks with our comics on them. So, listeners, want to see comics of me, Noddle the Witch, my pets Kaylee Cat and Spike Beagle? Go to InvaderPet.com and check us out. Seriously, though, you guys really have a canine neutering website? Let's Talk About the Music is wanting your sponsorship to help support local independent music and musicians worldwide. We have different levels of sponsorship for everyone, including up-and-coming bands and musicians, to give a little more boost to your promotions. Let's Talk About the Music is also looking to podcast live from your music-related special events, shows, and venues. For more information, go to letstalkaboutthemusic.com. Hey everyone, want to know how you can help Let's Talk About the Music stay on the air and earn some VIP privileges at the same time? Go to patreon.com slash L-T-A-T-M radio to find out how you can get involved. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com. Let's Talk About the Music. Who did this sound effect? Oh my, I wonder who did this? Join Spider and myself, Shells, on Let's Talk About the Music on August 10th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and find out. This is very intriguing. I wonder who did this.
I am Shells here in Tacoma, Washington, and that is Spider out there in Ohio. Ohio. And we They're have... not really high yet. We, we didn't really get that bill to pass, so. No. <laughs> and we have Arthur from, not Arthur, Ar- Arnold. Oh I know. All the I don't time. Know I don't know where All Arthur's the time. coming from. I don't know why oh. Arthur's coming from. I'm sorry. My friend, oh. no, no, my friend Evan's going to love that. He, he recently sent me a meme of, uh, y- 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 are you uh, familiar with Arthur, the cartoon show? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's basically a, a, a cartoon picture of Arthur swissing his fist and it's covered in blood. And he, and he goes, <laughs> when people call you Arthur instead of Arnold, I'm like, yes, exactly. That's exactly how I... <laughs> Maybe I heard, got that vibe. I don't know. You know, um, quick aside. I remember one time after I played a show, um, and it was just a solo thing where I was just playing guitar. The person who was uh, hosting that he goes, "Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for Arthur. Uh, I mean Arnold." <laughs> and I was like, "Thanks, dude. Thank you. Wonderful." <laughs> now I don't. Now, now I feel like I fit in now. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Don't feel too bad. It's a, okay, it's a yeah, common mistake. Do. You should start doing country music, and then you can call yourself Arthur Arnold. Because two first names. <laughs> yeah, maybe that could be the the my uh, my pseudonym in spells and kisses. There you there go. You See, go. it's, it's go. a country ballad band. You Kelly, go. you're making a, a new lore for spells and kisses, the alternative lifestyle group for spells and curses. Yes. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now it comes out. It comes out, and you really do it. I'll be like, I named that band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll be in the liner, uh, liner notes. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> and we just played one of your guys, one of your songs called "The Call Out." So tell us about yes. that song. That song is in, uh, very interesting. I mean, <clears throat> the album itself, Sudad, is a. I mean, there's a theme going on there. There's a story, but that song, um, it's it's very weird because like that song is sort of the one that sticks out as the one that kind of doesn't belong, because narratively within the arc of the uh, album. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with anything. So, I mean, the song is pretty much a song about just, you know, when you have quote-unquote, I don't want to say haters, but people who tell you you can't do something or people who tell you that uh, uh, maybe the path you're going down isn't the correct one and, wh- and whatever, you know, whether it's a relationship or a job or, uh, you know, what, what you're having for lunch later that day. Uh, it's just a, basically a song that, that's kind of like a rally cry going, hey, buddy. F you, I got this. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. Oh, cool. Not that deep, yeah, but... Uh, well, so they don't always have to be, you know, the deepest of subjects either. Right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they're, as far as music goes, sometimes it's just the way that that everything's arranged that gives it its depth. It's not that's, always the... Yeah. Not very, every very song has to be a tool, eight-minute masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> but why not? Come on now. <laughs> that's actually well, draining know, I don't know how Tool does it. it's draining oh yeah Most and they'll do it for like the performer. nine ten songs on an album and you go to a Tool show and they might only play like seven songs but each one of those songs is 20 minutes long yeah yeah <laughs> I, I was talking about it with regards to the, the side of the performer I mean like um, like personally for me <clears throat> I know that um, performing covers is a thousand times more fun than performing originals and that's not to say i don't like playing my my originals i do it's just that when you play cover songs you kind of just you kind of inhabit the 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 you know like if i play a prince cover song i'm I'm prince for a second you know whereas Mm -hmm. if i'm if i'm playing one of my songs i whether i like it or not i kind of inhabit um the the frame of mind that i was in uh for better or worse of the song when, when i wrote it or what i was trying to get at you know um what it meant emotionally to me i go back in there and uh, try to deliver it as genuinely as I possibly can to the audience, and, and that could be exhausting. Whereas mm-hmm. when again, when I'm playing like you know, if I were to play like "Sweet Child of Mine" by Guns N' Roses, I don't know what Axel was you know feeling. I mean, like yeah, it's about his uh, ex-wife or whatever, but like I don't know her, so I'm just singing "Sweet Child of Mine" because it's a good song, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I mean, yeah, for for play uh, with regards to Tool for playing like an eight-minute song every time. Damn, that's that's that's. <laughs> That's props to them. Yeah. <laughs> well, prog bands in general, like it's it's one of those things where it's less about what the song is and more how well you get into the song. And it's kind of like the songs are written in such a way that you can just completely zone out and just there's nothing but groove, and that's mm-hmm. it. You just really are into it, and you can play it 
just off the tip of your fingers without any thought about it because that's just what it is. You just feel it every second, which I don't – being not a prog guy myself, I really don't know how a song like that would work. Like I, I get bored after the same thing after right. a minute. <laughs> if a well, chorus my, is too my, long. My understanding of prog is that it's 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 – I don't want to say like uh, intricate for the sake of being intricate, but it's known for sort of having many moving parts happening at once. Mm. So like bands like like for example, I think the sort of uh, the poster child or the poster band, I guess, for most prog bands in metal anyway, would be somebody like Dream Theater, and they're known for mm. having not necessarily like a. I wouldn't call a lot of their songs like sort of songs you could jam to. You know what I mean? Like mm. you, you have to if somebody goes in and says, you know. Oh man, I don't even know. I can't. I can't name a Dream Theater song off the top of my head right now. But like, um, I'm a Petrucci fan. So if somebody says like, uh, you know, Glasgow Kiss right now off the top of my head, let's play. You, you have to know that song. You know, you can't really jam on one section. You could, but like, it, it, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. You know, go anywhere. True. True. Very true. Yeah, I guess like I'm a fan of listening to Prague, but I, I, it would be almost impossible for me to to play it. I think just because, like I said, I I just can't stay on the same kind of kind of groove for that long right. but you yeah. know that's probably why i'm an industrial <clears throat> guy and i played noise <laughs> play really? noise. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i don't i don't feel your song is your music is noise spider so stop that <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 structured noise it's it's accessible noise well, aren't we all just making structured noise in the True. end of the day? And I play your guys' structural noise. <laughs> See, we're, we're getting philosophical again. He should have been on the, the philosophy episode. Yeah, well, they, you got, <laughs> it was all open. <laughs> so, <laughs> a, a possible, possible name change for this show, the, the humorous, uh, uh, humorous, philosophical, controversial talk show. Wow. Yes, we'll just... Add a new title every time we have a new yeah, guest on it. Every just, new guest. <laughs> it'll grow like a Spanish name. Hey, guest X, why don't you give us a, 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 an adjective to discu- uh, describe this show? Sexual. <laughs> that would have been last night's show with, with all the print stuff we were talking about. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. It would have been. <laughs> uh, we're having fun. 